Hi guys, this is I'm Stuck, and today we are looking at biofuels. So as fossil fuels start to run out, different solutions for fuels are required. And the two types of biofuels include biogas and ethanol-based fuels. So there's two ways to make um, ethanol, and one of them is the hydration of ethene. However, we're not going to talk about that too much because it's not a renewable source as ethene is made from crude oil. So the other way is the fermentation of natural products. So ethanol is made when yeast um, breaks down glucose in anaerobic respiration. Now anaerobic respiration basically means without oxygen. Now this ethanol can then be extracted by distillation to separate it from the yeast and the remaining glucose. So these ethanol based fuels are quite effective and in places like Brazil they commonly use ethanol um, mixed with petrol as it is a good fuel it's um, carbon neutral which means that it um, the a carbon which is taken in from the plants is released so no extra carbon dioxide is being released and um, when they're burnt they don't really take put off any harmful gases so the other one we'll talk about is biogas and biogas is about 70 percent methane and 30 percent carbon dioxide so lots of different microorganisms are used to ferment plant and animal waste in anaerobic respiration, which again means without oxygen. Now it can be made in a generator, which is kept at a constant temperature so that the microorganisms are always respiring. Um, now the biogas ca uh, cannot be stored as a liquid, so it has to be used immediately. However, this means that you can use it to, um, as a small biogas to generate it to make gas for a family. Um, and the products which you are putting into it is human, animal, and food waste. So things like cow manure, for example. Now, furthermore, the byproducts um, which you get off isn't something um, dangerous as you can actually use them to fertilize crops. And um, when the bacteria decompose the waste products, they produce methane, which is a flammable, a flammable gas which can be used for fuel. Now, if you know, if you watch my global warming video, then you know that methane is also one of the greenhouse gases. However, by using it as a fuel, it means you're not really letting it off um, straight away. So next thing you need to know is about the generators, because there's different kind of generators you can use to make biogas. And you can use, first of all, a batch generator, which makes biogas into small batches, and they are manually loaded. Now, they are much cheaper than continuous generators, yet obviously they're going to be less convenient as if we continue loaded, emptied and cleaned. Now, continuous generators make biogas all the time as waste is continually fed in. So these are more suited for large scale biogas pro uh, projects. The other factors you have to take in um, is with, with these things is generators should be kept well insulated to prevent heat loss. Um, because they normally work at uh, 35 degrees and they are exothermic reactions, which mean they let off heat. And generators should be um, sited away from houses because obviously when you're using cow manure and everything, the smell is not going to be the nicest. So you have to weigh up the advantages and disadvantages of these biofuels. And obviously the, there are many advantages of biofuels because it's an efficient gas and it doesn't produce any toxic gases when you burn it. Now, ethanol, as I said before, is carbon neutral, which means there's no overall increase of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Um, the raw material is cheap and it's quite easily available. And the byproducts can be used as fertilizer in biogas. However, there are also disadvantages um, and large amounts of land are required to grow the crops, which can destroy habitats um, and less crops, which means that less crops used for eating. So there's going to be more hunger. Now that's particularly based towards um, ethanol and obviously for biogas it can smell a lot and it might not be the most efficient. It's not going to release as much energy as natural g gas and coal. So thank you for watching this video. Please can you subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. So thank you and see you soon. Bye.